We are taking you this morning on a journey through time and space. Mark Phillips traveled to Skellig Michael, that is an island in the Atlantic, featured in the latest Star Wars sequel. The island has been virtually stuck in time for more than 1,000 years, but now it is being stormed by fans of the Jedi. They could overshadow its precious history. It looks like something only a Hollywood set designer could come up with. Yet when Ray and Chewbacca flew the Millennium Falcon to this dramatic shard of rock in the latest Star Wars, they weren't flying to a fictional place. Skellig Michael is the real thing. And if you don't have a spaceship, you need a boat to cross the lumpy seven miles of open ocean off the southwest tip of Ireland. Also, you get Hugh and Joe instead of Ray and the Wookiee. And when you land, How you, do? you get Bob. Nice How to you see you. Good to see you. Welcome to the Skelly. Thank you very Bob much. Bob Harris, the tourist guy. It's like nowhere I've ever been. Bob knows all about a place so special it's been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site not just for its spectacular beauty and its enchanting wildlife, but because somewhere around the 6th century AD, a small group of adventurous, devout Christian monks established a monastery here. And generations of monks stayed for at least 600 years. The monks' beehive huts and chapel and graveyard have remained essentially as they were. And the magical thing to me is the fact that you can look in these dark doorways even today and you look in at exactly what sixth century men looked at. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Does the 600 count these? But to visit these right. wonders, you have to climb. Yep, here we go. I'm not even gonna count. And climb. It's only one way up, I guess. That's right. And climb. They're good height. More than 600 steps that the monks carved into the cliff face. By step 400, you can hear your heartbeat. Take your time. Proving correspondents have one. <laughs> when Ray came here, she wasn't interested in the sights. She came on a mission. We came because Ray came and to see what Star Wars has done to the place. But by the magic of the movies, there's no Millennium Falcon now. Ray came to find Luke Skywalker. It was a make-believe encounter that has had real consequences. Luke Skywalker may have thought Skellig Michael was a good place to come and hide, but he brought the new force with him, and others think that may not be good for the place, because where Skywalker has come, others have followed. No spaceship, but lots of little ships have brought an ever-increasing stream of tourists to the island, a bargain at 60 euros, about $67 a pop. They've been drawn certainly by its enduring charms, but also by its new Hollywood notoriety. Janet Moore came all the way from Tampa. We were planning to come to Ireland before even the Star Wars movie came out, <laughs> and then that clinched it. <laughs> and that also clinched it for Brian and Ellie Summerfield from Michigan. So we thought it'd be fun to come out here and pretend that uh, I, I was Luke Skywalker, and she was, what, what's her name again? Ray. Ray, yeah. <laughs> even if the visit can be a challenge for some. Two people, both Americans, have fallen off these steps and died here. But it's not just the numbers that are worrying. It's the fear that Skellig Michael, a special place for its history, is now being confused with something else. You think there's been some compromise now that people are coming to say, oh, you know, that's not where a dozen monks lived a thousand years ago but that's where Luke Skywalker landed the Millennium Falcon. Well, the monks, monks were here 1,300 years ago, and people still know about them. I don't know how long people will know about Star Wars, but they may know about it for a very long time. Especially since scenes they've already filmed on the island feature in the next Star Wars movie, too. Those who brave the trip here, like Fran Politi from San Francisco, yes. hope all this fame doesn't change the place. You know, not too many railings, nowhere to buy ice cream, no bathrooms. That's good. <laughs> if it's good enough for Luke, it's good enough for you. Well, if it's good enough for the monks, it's good enough for me. So the, the force is still here. 
I think the force has been here for a very long time. For CBS This Morning, I'm Mark Phillips on Skellig Michael. Man. Want to go? Oh, Want to go? I think it's very cool. Awesome. I had that's no idea. It's such a great scene in the movie when Luke Skywalker, that it's this beautiful island, island in Ireland. That's, that's I like what I love it. about our show. Me too. A great story and a master storyteller. Yes, yeah. Mark Phillips, I love you.